welcome to physics mate easy channel and we are solving ncrt problems and i have solved the first four problem and put the problem number fifth as a price problem and ask you to uh, post me the solution of this problem and let us go through uh, the very basic statement of this problem in young's double slit experiment using monochromatic light wave of wavelength lambda now the wavelength of the light is given to be lambda the intensity of the light at a point on the screen when path difference is lambda is k note down that the path difference lambda corresponding corresponds to phase difference 2 pi wherever you have to find out path difference phase difference corresponding to path difference just replace lambda by 2 pi just replace lambda by 2 pi so we have replaced if we replace lambda by 2 pi it means the path difference for phase difference 2 pi intensity is k unit what is the intensity of light at room at a point where the path difference is lambda by 3 simply k is intensity when phase difference is 2 pi because phase difference corresponding to path difference is 2 pi and we have to find out intensity i when the path difference is lambda by 2 i have already said if you find if you want to find out phase difference just replace lambda by 2 pi so this is the phase difference so we have to find intensity for phase difference it is given for phase difference 2 pi and its value is k for phase difference 2 pi we have to find out intensity of light for phase difference 2 pi by 3 now let us solve it take the first case In this case, the formula for intensity, remember this formula, I is equal to four I naught cos square five by two. In first case, it is given to be K unit when phi is equal to 2 pi i is given to be k units it means k is equal to 4 i naught cos square 2 pi by 2 or k is equal to 4 i naught cos square pi we know that cos pi is minus 1 it means k is equal to 4 pi minus 1 square or k is just 4 i naught this is not pi this is i naught let me make this correction this is 4 i naught this is 4 i naught this is again 4 i naught now this is the value of k next we have to find the value at angle phi is equal to let us put it equation number one we have to find the value at angle phi is equal to 2 pi by 3 now phi by 2 is just pi by 3 i know that this is 4 i naught cos square phi by 2 4 i naught is k from equation 1 and cos square phi by 2 this is cos 
pi by 3 whole square. Now cos pi by 3 cos pi by 3 is just 1 by 2 cos 60 this is cos 60 is 1 by 2 square and i is equal to k by 4 now many people say that these problems they are ncrt problem they are made for theory no they are not made for theory questions only even they are the basis of mcqs mcqs on this very technique have been asked in j main as well as in neat and uh, it's left as an exercise for you to see the year in which this problem was asked and let us shift to the next problem a beam of light consisting of two wavelengths now this is beam of light it consists of two wavelengths this wavelength is lambda one i will put and this wavelength lambda two is used to obtain interference in Young's double slit experiment. Find the distance of the third bright fringe on the screen for from the central maxima of wavelength this. Do so you just use the basic formula? Just use the y3 just calculate y3 y3 is now for this uh, y3 y y3 we will just keep 3 lambda capital d by small d this is y3 now lambda always remember that this remember this thing 350 nano is 10 raised to power minus 9 meter and if you have to just put in in terms of angstrom in terms of angstrom it is this now just put these values and you will get y3 and the distance is always from central maxima distance is always from central maxima find the distance of the third bright fringe on the screen from the central maxima what now this is the central maxima central maxima lies here third bright fringe we have to find out y3 to so just use the formula it's quite easy and I won't be solving it because uh, I expect you to be familiar with this. We have just solved this problem. This is you can see you can find out y3 third bright fringe fill the values and get the answer. The second part is important. Second part is important. What is the statement? Let me go through the statement. This part what is the least distance from the central maxima where the bright fringe is due to the due to both wavelengths coincide now for this we have to use uh, simple logic i don't go by the uh, there may be detailed solutions as well so the least distance no we should be first familiar with the fringe width beta is directly proportional to lambda now let they coincide at yth point y is the distance y distance may be n1 beta 1 for one fringe and n2 beta 2 for second fringe now one wavelength is larger if now i have taken lambda 1 here larger one and lambda 2 here it means lambda 1 is larger than lambda 2 It's quite clear from this numerical values 
beta is directly proportional to lambda it means beta 1 is greater than beta 2 and now go by this relationship in this case beta 1 is greater than we are familiar with this relationship Now this beta 1 is greater, beta 1 is greater than beta 2. This implies that n1 is lesser than n2. So now if I take n1 equal to n, then the nearest possible position for the other is n1 plus 1. Now one may ask the question why not n plus 2? Why not n plus 3? Least. Least word is responsible. We have to find out the least distance. So for this now fill these values. Now from onward I think there shouldn't be any problem now. Fill these values. 1 is n into beta 1 is equal to n plus 1 into beta 2. Now beta 1 is lambda d by d. Now if I put these values here, because d by d is same and they will cancel out. But I will make the substitution here so as to make the things clear I knew this fact that n1 n beta 1 is equal to n2 beta 2 now n2 was n plus 1 we have taken it n plus 1 because of least distance again I shall be writing n beta 1 n plus 1 beta 2 this is lambda 1 capital D by D this is n plus lambda lambda 2 capital D by D this cancels with this this cancels with this this is n lambda 1 n plus 1 lambda 2 now n into lambda 1 lambda 1 i think is 650 fill just fill the value and calculate the value of a lambda one is 650 other is 520 one is 650 other is 520 leave nanometers because they are on the both sides they get uh, they got cancelled here it will be 4 and here it will be 5. So 5n is just 4n plus 4 or n is equal to 4. So nothing new. The basic concept in such a problem be, uh, be very much careful about the word least. And just now, remember this shortcut. Here's a shortcut. Whenever you are asked a question like this, where you are given two different wavelengths, and they ask you find out the value of n, where the two wavelengths, where the two maxima coincide, or where their distance is same, I will read the exact line and then give you the shortcut there. For this, there is a shortcut. If this is asked, what is least distance from the central maxima where the bright fringes due to two different wavelengths coincide? Just write, just write this thing. N into larger wavelength lambda 1 is equal to N plus 1 into smaller wavelength lambda 2. 
and if you are fam if you use this formula you can solve this problem within less than one minute so this is the shortcut shortcut for this problem listen it again whenever you are asked question where bright fringes due to two different wavelength are set to coincide particularly in yds young's double set experiment and you have to find out the least distance in that case just use this shortcut n lambda 1 i will put the shortcut in box n lambda 1 is equal to n plus 1 into lambda 2 such that lambda 1 is greater than lambda 2 to use this shortcut and you will solve this problem within one or two minutes so now i will uh, read the statement of the next problem in double slit experiment young's double slit experiment angular width is found to be 0.2 on the screen place 1 meter away the wavelength of light used is also given what will be the angular width if the entire experiment is this to kindly post the solution of this problem here is a shortcut theta is proportional to lambda if if refractive index is 4 by 3 then angle will become 3 by 4 just in this problem 1 by refractive index 1 by refractive index 3 by 4 and just check this and post me the solution and we will do this part in my next lecture thank you very much